satisfied. Hallelujah. We think about being satisfied. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, and you can be satisfied, not satisfied and satisfied. And, and the thing about being satisfied, hallelujah, we, we find ourselves being satisfied with the material things and satisfied with the worldly things, amen. And over time, hallelujah, I, I, I was heard, hallelujah, someone say, God didn't promise us, amen, to be rich. He said we was rich. Hallelujah. He didn't promise us that. Hallelujah. What he promised us was a home in heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. He said that where he is, where we there we may be also. Hallelujah. That was a promise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we should never get satisfied. Hallelujah. And being, hallelujah. If, if we're if we're in a place right now that we're satisfied with where we're at, hallelujah. There's no way God can move. Hallelujah, because you, you say, Lord, I don't need you. I'm good. I'm good right here. And this is as far as I, I want to go. But God said, no, I want to take you further. Hallelujah. And in order for you to go further, you're going to have to do it in me. Hallelujah, Jesus. So I thank God today, amen, for that song, amen. It truly ministered to me as I was preparing, hallelujah, for this Amen. Wonderful day. Amen. A day that he knew about. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He knew would come. Hallelujah. But I thank God, hallelujah, because he knows, hallelujah, what we need, what we need, hallelujah, and right when we need it. Hallelujah, Jesus. He's that type of God, hallelujah, that never falls short, hallelujah, of his glory. He never falls short, hallelujah, of his promises. He never falls short, hallelujah, of his protection of anything that, hallelujah, we need. He never falls short in it. So I thank him, hallelujah, for being all, hallelujah, and like we say, they say, hallelujah, my all in all, hallelujah, hallelujah. And so I thank God also for Apostle, her accent to the man. a wonderful woman of God, hallelujah, who truly not just, you know, inspires me as a mother or my mother, hallelujah, but she inspires me as a woman of God, hallelujah, because of her, her compassion and her, her love, hallelujah, for God's work and her compassion for God's people, hallelujah, and it truly helps me, amen, to evaluate myself. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because everything she does, amen, she makes sure it's, it's what God wants first. Amen. So I thank God for her. I thank God, amen, for my husband. Hallelujah. And his great support. Amen. And hallelujah, everything. Hallelujah that he, he works hard for our family to have. Hallelujah. I thank God for that. I thank God for who He had, who the Lord had made Him to be, the man, Amen. That is truly, Hallelujah, uh, walking and, and desire, Hallelujah, to see God so much that if it's causing, if He have to deny Himself and take the back seat, He's willing to take the back seat, Amen. So that God can get the glory, Hallelujah. So I thank God for the leaders, Hallelujah, that He has placed over me. Hallelujah, Jesus. I thank God, amen, for my brothers and my sisters, the uh, ministerial staff, amen, here in New Day, and all, hallelujah, that labor, and everyone, hallelujah. I thank God, amen, for your love, hallelujah, and your dedication to the Lord, and, and, and hallelujah, I was, you know, just, when, when you have to bring a word, you, you think about all the things, uh, what people may say, or what they may think, and you know, hallelujah, but I thank God, hallelujah, because, amen, I'm able to bring the word, hallelujah, in our house, hallelujah, where I'm loved, amen, amen. <laughs> hallelujah, Jesus, amen, but I thank God because that's, that support, hallelujah, is very needed at times, hallelujah, when the enemy tries to come and say, uh, nay, hallelujah, and, and God had already spoke that it's finished, hallelujah, so I thank God for that. Upon studying for this word, hallelujah, it's been different, hallelujah. It seemed like every day God yeah. gave something different, hallelujah. And I come in, hallelujah, to Thursday, and God, hallelujah, moved that way. 
And so today, hallelujah, God is taking us to Deuteronomy. chapter 9 verse 29 it says yet they are thy people and thine inheritance which thou broughtest out by thy mighty Power and by thy skin stretched out on. Amen. You may have a seat. First, amen, before we go into that, amen, I want to talk about uh, the, the two things, amen, that, hallelujah, uh, and these two things, everything in the universe revolves around. And those two things are words and thoughts. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, words. Uh, word is a promise. Amen. And heaven and earth, amen, shall pass away. But the word of God shall stay. Amen. Shall stand. Amen. And in the thoughts, hallelujah, we think about our thinking, hallelujah, how things are done. And, but if we go back, hallelujah, to the beginning, amen, when God formed, amen, the world, hallelujah, and he spoke, and not only in order for, hallelujah, he must have had, a, had to have a vision of the things, amen, how he wanted to lay out and what would cause this to flow. He, he had to have in his mind, okay, if I, I make, hallelujah, uh, one ocean of some oceans, hallelujah, and it, and it Cause it to flow to the river, hallelujah, bring the rivers to make streams, hallelujah, yeah. and, and, and the lake, I mean, and, and then the lake go into the river and then it recycle back into the ocean to keep the waters flowing, and each lake, each river, each, hallelujah, each ocean, hallelujah, it had to be thought put in it, amen, hallelujah, and then we think about the words, he spoke the things, hallelujah, what he thought he spoke, hallelujah. And, and, and when we think about the, the thoughts, I mean the words, hallelujah, we think about how much power the words have, hallelujah. Yeah. When, when, we, when I was looking in God's word and just praying and laying before him, and he was talking about satisfied and how, hallelujah, Jesus, we have not been satisfied, hallelujah, with what he has been giving us. And, so, and because we haven't been satisfied with it, it has taken our focus, hallelujah, off of him. Hallelujah, because just like we can come into his house, hallelujah, and we can hear a word and it'll tell us, hey, and it'll pump us up and we'll be good to go as soon as we hit that door and something, and uh, temptation present itself, hallelujah. We back at, hallelujah, uh, another thought, a thought that the, that, that the enemy, hallelujah, they came with, hallelujah, we think about, hallelujah, the Eve and Adam, hallelujah, in Eden, in the Garden of Eden, hallelujah, and how the devil came, sorry, I won't be high, hallelujah, Jesus, I, hallelujah, whatever he did, hallelujah, but he, the enemy was able to come to Eve, hallelujah, and she knew better, hallelujah, she knew that she wasn't supposed to touch Hallelujah, the tree of knowledge. Hallelujah, of good and evil. Hallelujah, she knew that. Hallelujah, but because she got out of place. Hallelujah, not just hallelujah, out of place away from. Hallelujah, but out of place in her mind. Hallelujah, because she began to think, hallelujah, on the things that the enemy was feeding her. Hallelujah. So her thought, hallelujah, began to change. And so because the thought came, hallelujah, she began to dress up the thought and, and wonder how this would look and wonder how that would look, hallelujah, until, hallelujah, she bit up the fruit, it says, hallelujah. And so now she has the knowledge. Well, one thing about it, she was naked. 
hallelujah, and she didn't, hallelujah, even think about no nakedness, didn't understand, hallelujah, just like when we come to the Lord, hallelujah, and we lay everything down, hallelujah, we don't think about, hallelujah, how naked we didn't got before the Lord, and how naked, hallelujah, everybody has seen us crying, no snotting, and drooling at the mouth, and we, we didn't got naked before the people of God, and before God, and you know, and we don't, we don't think about it, hallelujah, Jesus, but hallelujah, when we begin That he has spoken, hallelujah, the, our thoughts begin, hallelujah, to change because we have allowed other things to come in and, and to uh, uh, substitute his voice and making it seem like it says he was the he was cunning, the serpent was cunning, hallelujah. So he said the right words at the right time, hallelujah, to get her to bite the app, the fruit, amen, if you will. And so the enemy comes and he comes cunning, hallelujah, and he comes to make sure that everything that God has spoken over our lives, amen, is drawn, hallelujah, from us. Hallelujah, but hallelujah, if we had someone, and God said if he had someone, hallelujah, that stayed satisfied with all that I give. See, they had the whole garden, hallelujah. And everything they had was given and laid out to them. Hallelujah, the thing was, hallelujah, they didn't, hallelujah, take advantage of, of, of it like they were supposed to. Hallelujah, they, 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 they didn't, hallelujah, why well, I would say she did because if she was in a place of reverence in the word of God, when the enemy came to present himself, she would have been in a place of prayer and fasting that when he came, she would have been able to tell him just like God told him to get the hints. Hallelujah. hallelujah. So these two things, word, and thought, hallelujah. Here in this passage of Deuteronomy, hallelujah, we have Moses, hallelujah, and he's going and he's per, uh, coming before the Lord in prayer and, and fasting 40 days and 40 nights and before the Lord what a city is, amen, he, he fasts longer than 40 days and was added up Hallelujah, and he did 240 days and 40 nights, which is eight days and 80 nights, hallelujah, of fasting. And on one of them it says he ate nor drink any, drank anything. And the other one, they, it wasn't uh, precise on if he drunk or ate anything, hallelujah. But this one right here, amen, is where he didn't eat anything, hallelujah. And, and it, he was going before the Lord, amen, and this was the part where he goes before the Lord for the ten commandments, hallelujah, and, and he's pleading the case of the people, hallelujah, Jesus, and the Lord, hallelujah, is here saying, you know, he, he, the Lord is like, you know, the people won't listen to me, hallelujah, people are being hard-headed and stiff-necked, stubborn, if you will, amen, and they're doing what they want to do, and all I to do is bring them into this place that is going to hallelujah help them flourish in ministry help them be who i've called them to be hallelujah and so here hallelujah moses goes to him amen in verse 29 and he's telling the lord lord these are the people amen that you promised that you will, uh, when you told Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, when you told Abraham that, hallelujah, his descendants, hallelujah, Jacob and I, uh, Isaac, hallelujah, would, would inherit a land and their descendants, hallelujah, would inherit this land. And so God's like, okay, because of my promise, hallelujah, to Abraham, I'm going to keep it, hallelujah, because I don't break my promises, hallelujah. So once we look in here and, and you read chapter 9, you see, amen, it's not because of anything that we've done, hallelujah, that brought us into a place of prosperity and brought us into a place, hallelujah, of being, uh, walking in our ministry effectively. It, it was because of the promise that he had made with, hallelujah, our forefather, hallelujah, Abraham. Hallelujah. He told him, Hallelujah. He said, Remember, 
told the people, Moses to tell the people, remember, when you go into this land, don't forget the Lord, because he is the one that brought you there. Hallelujah. And, and, and just we can use it for today. Hallelujah. God has blessed us in many areas of our lives. Hallelujah. And, and we have gotten to a place where what we think or what we, hallelujah, feel has taken the place, hallelujah, of God's words that he has spoken over our lives. Hallelujah. And so, hallelujah, we, we no longer have, hallelujah, that, that praise and that worship, hallelujah, and that, hallelujah, that in spite of, hallelujah, run, hallelujah, that we had when we first came to the Lord, hallelujah. Because when, when we go back to the scripture, when the Lord brought them out, hallelujah, of Egypt and brought them over Jordan, hallelujah, as soon as they got over to the land, if I'm reminded, hallelujah, they praised, hallelujah, because of his goodness and what and so the people of God comes into the house of God, hallelujah, and, and I don't, not expect it anymore, and, and come in, hallelujah, not looking anymore for change, hallelujah, just thinking that once I get home and I take my medicine, it'll go away, or once, hallelujah, Lord, hallelujah, once I go ahead and, and sit down, it'll, it'll be okay, well, no, hallelujah, God is looking for a people that said, hallelujah, I'm willing to sacrifice Unless it hurts. So it said, not for thy righteousness or for thy unrighteousness of thy heart. That does uh, the do they possess this land? So he said, not not for the good, not for the righteousness that is in you or the unrighteousness that's in the sinner, but because I, I've already said and I promised this, amen, to Abraham that you were going to possess this land, you're going to go into it. Yeah. Hallelujah, we're in a season now that God is saying, hallelujah, new day is a new place that he's taking us, hallelujah, in him, hallelujah. And it's not because, because if we can go off and just keep it real, a lot of us, I, I just keep saying for me then. I don't deserve, hallelujah, to be a pastor. Hallelujah, Jesus. So, but he's willing to keep his promise to Abraham. This is way before I was thought of here. It won't be the 
same temptation. It won't be the same thing, hallelujah, that hallelujah, the enemy been coming at us with. Hallelujah. We understand that as soon as, as, soon as for those, hallelujah, that keep going after trial, after trial, after test, after test, hallelujah, we understand that the enemy keep coming with something more, hallelujah, and it seems like it's harder than before, hallelujah, well, amen, that's just letting you know that, hallelujah, you, you're not just yeah. growing in Christ, but hallelujah, your knowledge of him and your, your reverence for him has become greater. Hallelujah, Jesus. So, but we look at, hallelujah, our tests and our trials. Hallelujah, we look at them as something that is just, uh, hallelujah, something that we can't overcome because, hallelujah, the giants is bigger and, hallelujah, they're better, their army is bigger than ours and, hallelujah, they're, they're, uh, they're, they stand taller than us and they have more things than we have. Hallelujah, and that's how the enemy wanted to look like and God allowed it to look like that. But if we just go back to God's word, hallelujah, when he told them, hallelujah, that I will go before you. See, he went before them. Hallelujah, and made it. Hallelujah, easy for them to go in and possess the land. And when you look into the scripture, you see, hallelujah, that they didn't have to do anything but hold up some light lamp. If you will, not a lamp, but it's like a stick with some stuff on it that had fire, hallelujah. Hallelujah, and, and surround their camp. Hallelujah, so because they saw that, now these giants now, because they saw that, hallelujah, they began to fight each other and kill each other, hallelujah. But when we get set in our mind, hallelujah, that no matter how hard the test may be, and no matter how strong, hallelujah, the enemy is coming, I have a made up mind. Back to having issues with my body. Hallelujah. I'm having them issues. Hallelujah. And I just, okay, was taking it. Hallelujah. And, and went to, even went to the doctor. Hallelujah. And got prescription for it. Hallelujah. And so got done with that, that side. Hallelujah. And then the other side of my body began to do the same thing. Hallelujah. Well, hallelujah, it's a testimony because that time, hallelujah, I began to speak over myself. Hallelujah, I began to tell my body I'm healed because it's stripes. Hallelujah, I'm healed. Hallelujah, Jesus. And that I don't have to believe the report of no doctor, no report. Hallelujah, Jesus, of no enemy. Why? Because he plays no role in my life. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm not going to, hallelujah, give my, my all. Amen to oh and woe and all I need and all. Oh, no, I was going to give God all my energy. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And now, hallelujah, because of my mind changing, hallelujah, my thoughts changing and believing the report of my God and what my God says. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't end it. Y'all just don't know. It only took a couple of days. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. But God had to show me. Hallelujah, that my thoughts have to be lined up with his. Hallelujah, if I'm going to be able to truly believe, because we're always asking God, help my unbelief, Lord. Strengthen my faith, Lord. You know, we're always asking God to do that. But when he try us on it, hallelujah, we back up and we go backwards. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he came. He allowed the enemy to present that to me. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. The, the thoughts, hallelujah, and the words are the two ingredients that God used to make us. Hallelujah. It wasn't, hallelujah, just thrown out, as they say, the Big Bang. And I was thinking about that Big Bang Theory. Well, then who made the Big Bang Theory? You know, hallelujah, Jesus. Who said all that in place? When I begin to look at the trees and how they know it's autumn, if you will, or fall, and they begin to change, hallelujah, and fall off the tree, and then next year, around summertime, they're going to grow, springtime, they're going to grow back on there and be beautiful again. Well, hallelujah, when I consider the goodness of Jesus, hallelujah, it made me think about myself, hallelujah, and how I, hallelujah, have the authority, hallelujah, cause things to be in 
Hallelujah. It was nothing that he didn't want. He knew God knew everything, but he just was like, Lord, I acknowledge that I done and that I need you. David understood that, his, that God's rights to the earth, amen. Everything about the earth, God made it and it was his anyways. And so, Lord, I'm not just going to do anything with myself because I understand that I'm yours. Amen. amen. So you get the scripture, the earth is the, is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Hallelujah. And when, hallelujah, David was in distress, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Many times of, of David going through some things. Hallelujah. He said, unto thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Hallelujah. Not giving the enemy any way to get in. He was making sure as you look in Psalms, amen. Psalms is a book of hallelujah praises and prayer. A hallelujah of reports of how God has moved. Hallelujah. And how David and other uh, writers of Psalms, amen, and Proverbs have went through but still remain, hallelujah, to give God the glory. So he said, unto thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Hallelujah, Jesus. And when he was, had did something wrong, he understood that there had to be judgment. Hallelujah, he understood that. So he said, judge me, O Lord. Hallelujah. And so today, we don't want to be judged. Hallelujah, we got to say, don't judge me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, that's always thrown up when, when folks don't want to hear you do them wrong. You need the Lord. You know, you, they want to feel like you're judging them. Hallelujah. But the only way you can be judged is if we say you're going to hell. That's judging. Now letting you, us know, each other know that, hey, that was wrong, what you did. Or sister, come on. Get it together. Or whatever it may be, hallelujah, that the Lord may give you to give to that person, hallelujah. We have to understand, amen, that when God gives us a word, it's a word because he, it's a warning. It's not just a word to look over or go past, oh, amen, and some even go to say that word wasn't for me. Hallelujah. And then God touched me. And then because that word went for you, you didn't allow the devil to take that seed. And so now you no longer have that. So you can't even go back on it. Hallelujah. But when our mindset be set towards fulfilling everything that God has for us. And everything that God is saying that he wants to do with us. Hallelujah. We see just a we can say just alone, him calling us to into his house, amen, have made my, my day better. You know, or me getting saved has made my life better. So we have examples of when we allow God, it makes us better. Hallelujah, Jesus. And so here in 65, amen. Uh, uh, chapter 9 hallelujah Jesus God bless the promised land with all the things that we would need hallelujah in this season he's blessed us with all that we're going to need amen to go forth hallelujah and to take the city and hallelujah to go forth amen and be prosperous in him Hallelujah. We often want to be prosperous in everything else but God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Want God to, God, your mighty hand, Lord, we need to like right now. Hallelujah. But we can't stay faithful. We can't move when he say move. We can't, hallelujah, offer up pray, just a praise, a thank you. Hallelujah. But everything is set forth in the promised land. Hallelujah, Jesus. Our praise is what's going to get us through. You don't know how important it is. Because if you can take your mind off of giving him thanks, you started off when, when you ran to the altar and got filled with the Holy Ghost or came to the Lord, amen, and hallelujah, Jesus, and, and you 
laid everything down. And man, he was like, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Every day was a thank you, Lord. Saying grace. Hallelujah. Before you ate, thank you, Lord. I'm happy. I'm guilty. I'm And so sometimes you forget to say grace. It took a whole bunch of bites. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. And in the middle of it all, Lord, thank you. Amen. Because we haven't made our day, our day today a praise. We haven't made it a praise. And so when we come into his house, amen, we have nothing to give him. But we going through so much that we have to give. But we can't give him a give him that. Hallelujah. So he said, I just want you to praise me. I just want you to praise me. All throughout this whole season, I just want you to praise me. Pray. Pray and fast. Pray and fast. That's worship for me. Praying and fast. Fasting. So we think, hallelujah. So the enemy comes and he tries to steal our prayer and our praise because we don't use it. The very weapons, amen, that got us here in the first place. When we realize that our confidence is not in ourselves, but it's in God, then we can be able to see the picture a little better. Hallelujah. A little more clear than what we have been seeing. Hallelujah. Because the enemy tried to come that way with intimidating us. Hallelujah, Jesus. But he lets us know that he's not given us the spirit of fear. But of authority, power. Hallelujah. Of power. And we don't want to operate in the power because we're afraid of what someone may say or think or how we may look. Amen. But if I recall, hallelujah, when God placed us in this place, hallelujah, of, of knowing him, of learning him, hallelujah, we didn't care who saw And so we, we allow ourselves to get crazy for him. And hallelujah, and we, and we sacrifice everything and anything. Hallelujah, whatever he wanted. It simply shows where our trust is. It shows the Lord, amen, that our trust is not in Him. Because we can go hard for everything else, but when it comes to reverencing Him or giving Him the respect and the honor that He is due, we no longer give Him that. Restoration is something, amen, that has been free, delivered, hallelujah, no longer hallelujah in the old, but walking in the new. That's excellence, and that's what God offers, amen. So when things that we, hallelujah, that's not lining up with his word, hallelujah, things that we allow to take our time, hallelujah, our mind, Hallelujah, and, and make us draw back on what he said. Hallelujah, it is, it's us not, hallelujah, allowing God to use his excellence on us, or in us, or through us. Yesterday I, I had something totally, totally different. All the way up until this morning. <sighs> and God just wants us to know, y'all, that by His Spirit is the way we can get things done. We haven't been satisfied because we have not allowed God's Spirit to saturate our vessels.
church, we have to get back to a place of praise. We make the world think that everything that we're going through or our life we're living for Jesus is just dead and all, I don't know, dreadful and amen. But it's not. Hallelujah, Jesus. Can I get a witness that it's, it's, it's peace in this stuff? Hallelujah, joy in this stuff. It's hope in this life. God bless you.